Rachel. Huh? Come on, you're good at maths. Oh. Do the scores. Quickly, do the scores. Add up the scores. Quickly. Do the maths. There's no music. There's no music. There's no... Da -da, da -da, da -da, da -da. <laughs> OK, 17 times 35. No, not without the music. Not without the music. <laughs> Come on, quick, 17 times 35. <laughs> that is the correct answer. <laughs> Did you know, for example, the average mum has one hour a day to themselves? That's the thing with mums, selfish. 25% <laughs> of lap dancers have university degrees. Yes, most of them... <laughs> Carol there, just getting the last joke. Or remembering something that happened earlier in her life, who knows? 25% <laughs> of lap dancers have university degrees. Yes, most of them have a tutu and a French maid's outfit and a police uniform. <laughs> so you're intelligent, you're famous for being intelligent. Do you believe in aliens? Um, well, my mum used to be part of an alien search club. Oh. Like, they had membership cards and everything. They used to go to this windmill in Rayleigh and have little meetings. I think, I think she went dogging and she didn't want to tell you. <laughs> We're looking for aliens, yeah. love. <laughs> there were flashing lights. The car was covered in plasma. <laughs> they came right up to the whisper. <laughs> the car was covered in plasma. I haven't been fully supportive of, of that kind of thing, but yeah, I mean, Stephen Hawking would believe in aliens. There's more chance that they're out there than they're not. It'd be pretty solipsistic to believe it was just us, wouldn't it be? You're like, yeah. yeah. Plus, there's people like Jimmy, kind of you know, bridging the gap. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there's, some, there's something different about you, isn't it? How dare you? <laughs> I'm a robot built on Earth. <laughs> most unattractive habit. I think, Jimmy, one of the most unattractive habits is when you're talking to a man and then he's just looking at you and not actually listening to what you say. So then when you ask him a question... <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> then when you ask him a question, oh. he says, pardon? What? what? <laughs> The German people will be very pleased to find out about this. <laughs> Have you seen that programme on Channel 4, the food hospital? The food hospital? People that are sick go there and they get cures with different diets and stuff, but it's really good for making you eat healthily or just not eat. Because it's on at like eight o'clock. So the last couple of times we've been eating and it's on. And they're doing this fibre challenge and they keep showing you different pictures of poo. Like, what you're trying to eat. So you're saying your dieting tip is it, look at pictures of poo well, while you're eating. It puts you off your food. I think you want to go with a guy who's got more than one channel on his television. <laughs> <laughs> you come out of my house, we'll watch the football, we'll stick the Simpsons on, I've got DVDs. <laughs> the whole works. If you don't like watching shit while you eat, well... <laughs> I'm your man. And that is the worst proposition that's ever been made. <laughs> Jason Steen, what do you think they've been talking about this week? Exciting VAT news. Yeah. Oh. Two and a half percent has come off VAT. <laughs> that's right. What are we even still doing here? Let's get to the shops. Come on. <laughs> I mean, we are going to rush out, obviously, because something that cost £100 uh, last week, next week it's going to cost, wait for it, £97.87. <laughs> I'm very excited about the two and a half percent. Are you? That's yes, marvellous. Because I can finally get that kettle I've had my eye on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's very tempting me, but I've always gone. <laughs> Is it one that's got the light on that when you switch it on it goes red when it boils and then it goes like. to blue? Yeah. <laughs> Team. What do you think the nation have been talking about? Well, I'd say it's our dear old pal in America, uh, Lord Trump, the evil. <laughs> he has fired James Comey, who's the head of the FBI, for investigating Trump into what was some probably dodgy dealings with Russia. And so now he's fired him in quite a dramatic way. And I'd say even Kim Jong-un's a bit like, come on, mate, <laughs> this is a bit bad. I think Trump misses The Apprentice and just wants to fire someone on telly again. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he wrote this really weird letter. I said, it's definitely, definitely, definitely nothing to do with Russia. And thank you, thank you, thank you for not um, investigating me. I'm not being investigated. I'm not being investigated. You're fired. Nothing to do with that. Have fun. <laughs> He's basically doing the political equivalent of, like, hey, guys, look over there. <laughs> <laughs> so what, if, what if a country? It's always Russia, isn't it? 
That Putin's a right nosy bastard, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> but he has. Jeremy Corbyn's upped his game this week, but it feels a bit too late. Like, he's come out with some amazing stuff about zero-hour contracts and not selling arms to Saudi and all this kind of stuff. But it's, I feel a bit like he's had a Viagra at the end of the orgy. <laughs> when people are sort of pulling on their jeans, asking for a glass of water from the host. Like, it just feels like a, li a little too late. <laughs> Like he's offering so many things. Like he wants to scrap tuition fees that Labour put in to start with, and he's offering money for NHS. It's like he's like skipping through a field of flowers, just like tossing stuff around. <laughs> where he can't actually get any of it done. And he's got Diane Abbott saying he's going to pay all these oh, God. police people thirty quid through the head. Oh, she thinks the election's on the 49th of July. She... <laughs> Have a look at this. It's got more life about it than, you know, men normally do to women. It's yeah, like... but, Carol, you should see the state of the shed they built. <laughs> <laughs> How did you get proposed to? Which time? <laughs> it was different in those days, wasn't it? It was, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we were riding on the back of a hay cart. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were going to say triceratops. <laughs> the top cause of family arguments. Oh. Incest. Uh. <laughs> I mean, I mean, it's going to be a big argument, but I don't think it's going to be the biggest necessarily. <laughs> Did you see that couple that went, they couldn't get pregnant and they went to the doctors to see why and they turned out they were twins? They're twins. They had. They were adopted, but they didn't oh. know they had. A, and they oh, knew the same right. birthday. And they, everyone used to joke like, "Oh, it's oh, funny," because they used to celebrate it together. And then oh. it's only when they went to China they couldn't conceive that they found out. Oh my god! That was always my biggest fear when people say, "Oh, you date someone who looks like you." <laughs> <laughs> who would you date that looks <laughs> like you? <laughs> with someone who looked like me. Is this what your wife looks awkward. like? Like yeah. this is a picture yeah. of your wife. <laughs> <laughs> Not that. Um, <laughs> is it trapdoor comparison websites? What's that? You know, trapdoorsupermarket.com. But you could just look at different trapdoors and decide which is the best one to buy. <laughs> is it, uh, well, it's porn, isn't it? I didn't want to say it. But... Prawns. No, oh. prawns. prawns. Not prawns, no. Oh. <laughs> I was going to say, that's a bit specialist, Carol. <laughs> it's got, I think it's porn, isn't it? I mean, the only, the only one I've seen recently is, um... <laughs> Sorry, you don't know, but... No, I was just like... <laughs> no, because when I knew we were doing the digital special, I thought, well, it's research, isn't it? So, um... <laughs> Jason, come on, we're doing the show, man. <laughs> say. There's nothing, there's nothing more difficult than trying to close a screen when your wife comes into the room. That, that little cross at the top gets smaller and smaller. Because <laughs> you can't even look at it directly, because you think, I've got to keep eye contact with her so she doesn't look at the screen. You just go, hey, you love, you're all right, I think it. Is it about there? <laughs> Be all right. I think it'd be fine. Uh, I think it's probably. I think it's probably men who use it. Do you think it's men that use it? I one? don't think many women actually go looking. For... I think there's a lot of stuff aimed specifically at. Because the thing about the internet pornography, as opposed to pornography as it used to be in wooded areas, mm. <laughs> <laughs> is where pornography used to live. Sure Someone would buy it in the news agent and then very kindly leave it in a wooded area for no. <laughs> and you would see a shimmer of porn yeah, on the horizon. <laughs> Release it back into the world. <laughs> <laughs> Most people secretly want to do another job, true or false. What, what would you do, John, if you weren't doing this? I'd quite like to be a milkman. <laughs> a real buzz out of giving people milk. But <laughs> in my experience, unless you've got the uniform, it's weird. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a friend who's a zookeeper, and it is an amazing job. I've got a friend who's got, um, really? got a dangerous wild animal rescue facility in Woken. It's a little house in Essex. There's an emu, and he gave me an emu egg, which looks like a dino egg. It's bright green, and I made an omelette out of it the other day. 
Well, that's... <laughs> oh, I Sorry, is this, is this a rescue centre for the animals? A, yeah. If you're, <laughs> if you're it's, eating it's some of them... It's an emu. No, it's an emu. We didn't get the funding we were hoping for, so... <laughs> well, it's, Beaky hasn't got a boyfriend, so they're not, you're not eating... An, an, it wouldn't be an emu, because it's not fertiliser. It's just an egg. It's Go just very nicely natural. with the leopard bacon. <laughs> Let's get some answers on this. So, most people secretly want to do another job, true or false? What, what are you, you're going to go, true! True. <laughs> John? We true. think it's true. OK, I can tell you the answer is true. 54% of people secretly want to do another job. <laughs> uh, John, Fern, Carol, what have the nation been talking about this week? Lots of different things, haven't they? Yeah, well, my well decision, done, Carol. Uh... <laughs> I mean, that's... We could probably just end round one there, can we? <laughs> <laughs> Mother's Day. Mother's Day? Mother's Day, yes. Well, you're, a, you're a mum. I am a mum, and I actually have a mother as well. Yeah, which is remarkable. Um, Fascinating stuff. We're all... <laughs> we chat about all sorts of things, my mother and I. Do you want yeah. the weirdest conversation you've had with your mum? Uh, well, it was actually last week, cos I, I got my uh, daughter picked up from uni, and we went into Nana's, and... Is Nana's like Nando's? <laughs> no, Nana's my mum. Oh, OK. Nana's my mum. Yeah. And she's got her iPad out, and my daughter goes, What's that, Nan? She said, you're on Facebook. Nana, that's my account. And my mum is stalking my, my daughter's Facebook account. She said, oh, no, I've got hundreds of friends on it. She said, no, they're my friends, Nana. They're not your friends, your they're Nana friends. is stalking your daughter as well. <laughs> <laughs> we should get together said, and talk. She said, she said, oh, I go to bed half an hour early and I... Read up about all these different people. What's this thing here? I think she might mean uh, Tinder. <laughs> oh, no. Facing. No, no, no. Yes, yes. <laughs> Have you ever illegally downloaded anything? I don't think so, no, but I do download apps, but I pay for those all the time. I oh, love the apps. Legal. You love the apps, I'm yeah. loving the apps on the iPhone. My favourite is iFart at the moment. I know it's childish, but it's cause me I love. Fart. Laughs what does that 49p. do? 49p. It's great. It's great. It's 49p? You could have brought sprouts. <laughs> <laughs> Downloaded iPod. Oh. It's got all the different sounds and they've given it like squelcher, squeezer, rabbit thingy, da da da. And they're all different fast sounds. Do? You're the real Carol Vorderman. Did we <laughs> book the wrong. Because I wanted really, to book the clever really one funny. off the show with the numbers. So, so Who did we book? Who's she? <laughs> I find a heavy drinker on a date very much a positive. Mm. <laughs> well, if they're hammered, I'm, you know... It's a clincher. The men it's might a... try and push drinks on the women, mm. but if the women can't really do anything with the drunk man. <laughs> yes, you can. <laughs> what are you going to go for? Uh, uh, probably heavy drinking is worse. I can tell you, you are right. Yes! <laughs> yes! 63% of people said someone who drinks too much is worse than a fussy eater. I think a fussy eater is worse. If she won't put that in her mouth, she's not going to like what I've got planned for dessert. <laughs> Carol, would you ever go into the jungle? What would it, what would it take? No, I won't go into the jungle. You get offered it every year? Yeah. Every Should year I tell they you call? how much they offered me yeah, this yeah, year? Yeah, yeah, go on. Wow. £250,000. £250,000? £250, really? And you went, no, I'm not doing it, not no. worth it. Can I go dress I'll go tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was 250,000. I'm not very good with numbers. 25. <laughs> Carol, were you pleased that they stayed? Well, I just thought it's up to them, really. And, you know, things change, don't they? Things develop. Are you breaking up with me? <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of time to move on, Jimmy. <laughs> don't worry, I've still got the photos. Um... <laughs> It's an odd percentage of people that wanted to go, isn't it? Because it was, yeah. as much as it was, you know, was yeah. it 54%, it's almost half. They kept saying, we won safely, like, it doesn't yeah. feel very safe. Like, if you yeah. had five kids and you went down for breakfast one morning, they went, we had a vote in the morning, two of us want to kill you in our sleep. <laughs> <laughs> the other three are all right with it. So, <laughs> but we're not going to tell you which wants which. We shouldn't give away the result of the referendum, because some people might have taped it. Carol, do you like a fancy dress party? I love a fancy dress party. What's, what's the best outfit you've ever, you've ever rocked? <laughs> Well, when I had my last big fancy dress party, oh, it was fantastic. You host? Yeah. Oh, you host them, I love yeah, them. Yeah, 70s. Sure, it was fantastic. Amazing. I had an Afro wig that was that big and a little toga th thing and some very <laughs> high <laughs> silver boots. And it was, oh, we had the blast. It was fabulous. I really enjoyed that party. It was brilliant. Uh, no, I, I wasn't invited. No, but... I know. <laughs> John, Rachel, Tim, what do you want to answer a question on? Can we have the lady with the knife and fork? She looks angry about what's about to happen, and I want to find out why. <laughs> okay, all right. Well, your related question, okay? Worst thing on a date? 
a fussy eater or someone who drinks too much? If they're a fussy eater, you can just eat their food. Done. I'm happy. See, that would be a good thing for you, a positive That would be thing. fine, as long as they actually go to the restaurant to start with, because I did go out with someone that would only eat, um, like, yellow stuff. When I was young, you'd only eat, like, chicken nuggets and chips, so... So you'd go out to a restaurant and go, do you have anything yellow? <laughs> <laughs> would you go to a, a custard house? <laughs> One of London's very fine custard houses. <laughs> How many dates did you have with this guy? I went out with him for three years. What?! <laughs> OK, what else? There must be something more upbeat we could talk about. Uh, what else have uh, people been talking about? Another Bond movie? Yeah! Another one. Found found found. Oh, we've got Homeland now. We don't need Bond anymore. You've got Homeland, yeah. we don't need Bond? Yeah. Homeland's way better than the Bond what? movies. <laughs> what are you saying? I don't know. I went to see one. I went to see Casino Royale, cos they build it as it's nothing like a Bond film, it's totally different. And it was just another Bond film. Oh, it was a Bond film. Yeah, I know. <laughs> if you're issue with a Bond film, it's, it's just a Bond film. These ones, they go, oh, it's darker and grittier. Yeah, like, oh. It'd be, it'd be darker if he had to get Ryanair flights everywhere. Bond <laughs> 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 kneeling beside the check-in desk, stuffing underwear in his pocket. <laughs> <laughs> Your DVD Christmas as well, and you, quite rightly, you know they offer you things that yeah. you think would be associated. And there's an inflatable bondage chair that came up online. <laughs> but uh, well, sadly... there must have been some other things that you bought no. as well. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what you would love. They were also offering mind camp. Jimmy, <laughs> 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 you might like mind camp. <laughs> by a young writer called Adolf Hitler. <laughs> nine, nine, nine. <laughs> It is the recommendations is an odd thing because it's sort of I don't mind buying stuff on uh, Amazon, but when when uh, the recommendations come up, I do sometimes think, is that me? I've got to change. <laughs> I used to be on the Wide Awake Club, and obviously Timmy was one of them, uh, one of the presenters. And um, this I used is to my favourite ever. Before you even with... start, this is my favourite ever name drop story. <laughs> <laughs> one of my best friends. <laughs> yeah, Timmy Mallet. Yeah, we hang out. Whatever. <laughs> There's a gentleman in Bristol who has been his agent for 27 years and, and he's been mine for 22 Busy job. years. <laughs> 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 Can you imagine that? When the phone goes, what's that noise? What's that? <laughs> <laughs> what do you think people have been talking about over the last week? Is it Strictly Come Dancing is back on our screens? And lighting up Saturday night. <laughs> <laughs> a whole nation of people. I should do it. I should host it. What's strictly, strictly Come Dancing, I can't say it, but I could host it. <laughs> <laughs> How come you're not one of the judges? You'd make an excellent judge on that. Um, because they've already got their judge. I would be an excellent judge, yeah, you're right. <laughs> I would, I'd be fucking great. I'm on the ice, aren't I? You're on the ice? I do the ice. <laughs> would you ever consider going on it, Rachel? Would you? I, I imagine would they suck. are, would I had, um, my... Would you? <laughs> 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 I did do one hour with a Strictly Come Dancing ex-pro before our wedding. Did you? What, you thought I'd treat myself before I met No, this my husband made me. <laughs> it wasn't anything to do with oh, me. Oh, to learn to dance, I'm sorry. I'm just... <laughs> Sean, your team to go first. What do you think people use the internet for? Uh, you're, well, Carol, you're on the internet. I'm on the internet all the time. I'll tell you what I do. I shop on the internet. I buy absolutely everything on the internet. Oh, you're not worried about fraud and all that sort of stuff? No. You're not worried about people licking no. your identity and that? No. I bet your password is proper confusing, though, isn't it? <laughs> you've got an amazing password that you've actually got to solve three sums to get the password. <laughs> <laughs> I quite like Chris Martin, I quite like Gwyneth. What do you make of Gwyneth? Me? Yeah, what do you make oh, of Gwyneth? Oh, I don't know. Like most people, I think, it's just a bit smug and sort of pain in the arse, really. I would say. <laughs> Are you moving in there, Carol? What do you mean? You're moving in on Chris? Mm, no. He's a, bit, on. he's a bit too old for me. <laughs> <laughs> OK, uh, we've got one more thing to get. Fingers on buzzers. <laughs> Go on, Sean. Is it the, uh, the, the bomb? Pants bomber. The guy who had put a bomb in his underpants and he had no metal in it, which, which is obviously very bad news because it means now when you, you already go, when you go through security, you've got to take your belt and your shoes off. Next, you're going to have to go onto the plane with your pants in a cellophane bag. <laughs> My favourite fact about that is apparently it was supposed to be a mistranslation and it's not 72 versions, it's 72 grapes. <laughs> You'd be a bit fucked grapes. off, wouldn't you? You blame yourself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 72 
grapes. Grapes, white grapes. <laughs> and even yeah. virgins isn't great, is it? Give me one girl who knows what she's doing. <laughs> <laughs> the only time I've ever spent an evening with a footballer was a long, long, long oh, time ago. Tell me everything. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 I just happened to be standing next to a footballer and there were a lot of girls who were handing their number to him and all sorts of things to him. And were you adding up all the numbers and dividing them? <laughs> <laughs> OK, your related question. 63% of women avoid exercise because they think it makes them look stupid. Yeah. True or false? Jimmy, can I just point out that when they cut your shot up, the only words in that are look stupid <laughs> above your head. <laughs> John Steen, what do you think the nation have been talking about this week? Sex box? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Man, you seem genuinely excited. Sex box, tell me all about it. They have sex in a box. The cameras aren't in the box, so you can't see. And c consenting couples go in there, and they have sex, and then they come out, and then there's a panel of experts, and then they just sit there, and they get asked about what happened in there, and they say, yeah, we did it. No, no, no. I want to know more about this, because I haven't actually seen this. Before. It's like a porno version of the cube. <laughs> right. They should do it in the cube, don't they? They should be able to see what they're getting up to. Yeah. <laughs> said that um, kids should learn maths compulsorily until they're 18. Yeah. I mean, that's ridiculous. That's like 40 years. <laughs> <laughs> she said that she did. <laughs> no, that's, it's 18 years. <laughs> Where did you get him from? <laughs> she said it's increasingly important to be uh, mathematically literate in the workplace. As if, like, at what point wasn't it? And why would you commission a maths report from someone who is good at maths but unemployed? It's <laughs> 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 not my fault. <laughs> it's a little bit your fault. <laughs> I didn't feel like people are actually that bad at maths until oh, I saw. Oh, I've seen some an... bad stuff though. Yeah, well, what's the worst yeah. maths oh, you've well, seen? I did a program with dispatches, and they were looking at this school that had implemented this magical new tr uh, teaching of maths. And I met an 11-year-old girl that couldn't work out 500 minus 499. This was after a year of their new magical teaching. <laughs> 500 minus... 499. Can you hold up your fingers? I'm going to need everyone's fingers, sorry, audience. You get how many fingers in one hand? Five. Four. How many fingers in ten hands? Oh, shit. Uh, <laughs> 40. Yeah, no, what? Ask him again. Ask him again. Question? Yeah, well, it's not difficult. It's your top's not done up. So it's hard. <laughs> Can I tell Miss? Miss, do your top up and then we can get on with the maths. <laughs> Ask me a question with 11 in it. <laughs> okay. What do you think? Is it the. Um... The spate of people tipping ice buckets. Oh, over their ice heads. bucket challenge. The ALS ice bucket challenge. Did you do it? I well, I did. Yeah, I did do it. But instead of ice water, I had sort of warm water, and instead of tipping it, I sort of climbed into it. <laughs> <laughs> I had a lovely bath. <laughs> yeah. Carol, you did it, didn't you? I've did done you it. Yeah, I did it. Carol Vorderman did do it. Yeah, in in some style, I would say. Should we take a look at Carol's? Yes. Yeah. nominated you? Red Arrows nominated me. The Red Arrows nominated... What, all oh. of them? All of them, cos they did it the That's, night There's going to be a story here. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Hang on a second. Yeah. Well, they were all sitting in formation, apparently, the night before, and had... <laughs> <laughs> so they were sitting in formation, yeah. And tipped over them. Right. <laughs> and then they had to nominate... You oh. had to nominate two yeah, yeah, people sure. or something, OK? So they said they nominated the Chief of Air Staff, Prince Harry, and me. Oh. And I thought, oh, God. And that, kind of, that video went everywhere, and I thought, well, I can't not do it now, can mm. I, really? No, and it's a real compliment. Out of anyone they could have chosen, they chose you. They chose what me, What did yeah. you do to piss off the red arrows? <laughs> <laughs> Carol, do you get stressed driving? Do I, I get stressed? Ride? No, I love, I love driving. I love Top Gear. You know I love Top Gear. Should we look at Carol on Top Gear? Yeah. We'll have a little look. Now, the Liana. <laughs> oh, yes. <gasps> I just had a great day. I love the stick. He was so good, and he taught me how to do handbrake turns today. 
Well, that's not going to make you go very far. No, it isn't. No, Pulling it a handbrake on. No. Have you never done one before? No. So did that explain what happened when you were on one of your practice laps? <laughs> the would last you, one, you... I was just pushing it a little too far. Who'd like to see what happened on one of the practice laps? Yeah. Here we go. Right, where are we now? Oh, it's the follow-through. Oh, a bit wide. Ah! Oh, what's this? <laughs> <laughs> Slap. That was quite oh, close. Oh, this is great. This one's great. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I have to say, I was fastest in the wet by four seconds. At Fast that time. In, fastest in the in wet the by wet. four seconds. <laughs> I forgot to issue Carol with the list of words you cannot say to Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm afraid wet is wrong. You just can't say it if it's well, raining. Jeremy you have argued to say it's and raining. he said it was only mildly moist. <laughs> <laughs> now you're pretty much reading out the list. <laughs> Carol, you were, you were an education czar at some stage, weren't you? You were a maths czar, weren't you? Uh, I did a maths report, yes, about two years ago. I was also involved in the introduction of the numeracy hour when Blair was Prime Minister and Blunkett was uh, education The secretary. numeracy hour? Yeah. What, countdown? <laughs> <laughs> what did they do? How did footballers get off with women before mobile phones? Pigeon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Pigeon. Imagine just drew a picture of their cock on a bank <laughs> <laughs> Bank statement, and that's what it looks like. <laughs> I can't draw, so I got Rio to do it. <laughs> Rachel, you're a huge Manchester United yeah, fan. Yeah, I am. You'd, have you met Ryan? I have, yeah. As well as fulfilling my dream of uh, doing times tables to music, I did some work for MUTV last year. Oh, sorry, what was your first dream? <laughs> doing... Time tables to music. That's my day job. You right. may have seen it, it's on Channel 4. Oh, yeah. Da -da, da -da, yeah. Da -da, da -da. So, there you go. Um, <laughs> so I was shown round Carrington, the United training ground, by Giggsy and Rio last year. Blimey. I think you had a lucky escape. <laughs> 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 it's a very extended euphemism. <laughs> shown round. Shown round, mm. yeah. We started in the changing rooms. And um, we worked on <laughs> <laughs> Don't there call it that. There were cameras there the whole time, it was fine. <laughs> I think I'm the only one old enough to remember all the blackouts of power cuts in the 70s. Also, when they introduced electricity, that must have been a thrill. <laughs> 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 so what was it like? So in the 70s, of course, so we had... So in the, the 70s, you, you had... Well, we had uh, paraffin lamps and you had boxes of candles. No, I remember that. I think it's these days would be much better because candles are more varied, much better sense. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here's your final question. Top way to waste time. What about you, Rachel? Presumably, um, I mean, countdown's the main one. Well, countdown, <laughs> yes. For me, it does, like, go into regular life. So whenever I see, like, a three-digit number on a hotel door, I have to, like, factorise it. Or if I see a name, I have to put an anagram. So Tom well, Davis well, is an well, anagram of sad vomit. Earthquake. Yeah, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> Marley Maddox is an anagram of Madden Jeez. Jail Dicks. <laughs> I fell over last year. I fell down the stairs and I broke oh. my nose. Now, that does not make life more exciting. Although, ka-ching, Stan a stair lift advert. <laughs> <laughs> How did you fall down the stairs? Uh, I had high heels on and a rucksack. I always go around with high, high heels, heels and, and a rucksack. rucksack. Ooh, tell me more. <laughs> and you were dressed as a beef eater. <laughs> <laughs> No, I always have a rucksack. I don't like handbags, so I can put both hands in my pockets. So when I trip, so you can break your nose. <laughs> <laughs> well, I will say, if I maybe I'm too commonsensical, but if I am going down the stairs in high heels, I don't put my hands in my pockets. <laughs> What's your I think pleasure? it's when you're sitting on the toilet and you know you've got the toilet roll and it's got one bit is slightly lower than the other bit, mm. you know, because it's two ply. Someone's doing well. <laughs> <laughs> what you're meant to do is take the top bit over like that. Do you do this at home? And then you get it, and then they all measure up and you rip that bit off. No, but then you get out of sync. No, because... no. Why are you shitting in the sink? <laughs> <laughs> Carol Vorderman is so good with figures, why does she always insist on trying to squeeze hers into a dress that's clearly two sizes too small? <laughs> And the award this evening for not laughing at a joke she clearly thought was funny goes to Rachel Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations. I've been, in, I've been in a river where you get the catfish just come up to your whole body and the, do it. 
the catfish come up to your whole your, body. Your whole body, you hold this food and wherever you hold You're it. You're so naive, those catfish. aren't catfish. <laughs> <laughs> those are men that have paid good money to be there, Rachel. <laughs> Where was it? In Borneo. You go and in this river and these catfish, they're like that long. They come up to Ooh. you and suck whichever bits you put your hand near. Really? <laughs> <laughs> I think it's got to be that thing that, that, that was about about a year ago and then it stopped being something, which was the toggle. Everything was a toggle. You oh, yeah. Your USB thing, you had a toggle. A to... uh, dongle. Oh, dongle. Dongle, that was it, they're the dongle. dongle. See, yeah. it was so confusing, I didn't know what <laughs> Yeah, because they're hard. They don't dangle. The dongles don't dangle. They're actually hard, aren't they? Well, you put them in. A dongle doesn't that? dangle because it's hard. <laughs> I think you look really nice, Jimmy. I think you wear like really nice tailored suits. You've done it. Got your like. You look a lot different when you first started on telly, don't you? <laughs> I'm just saying you look like you you got all. I've scrubbed up well. You've always yeah. dressed smartly. I remember you. What, 15-something years ago. Yeah, when you were Eamon Holmes. Yeah. <laughs> Most people think their own nightmares are scarier than horror films. I'm a friend that you need to take um, a girl on a first date to see Freddy versus Jason. And then on the way home, he bought her... Well, he didn't actually buy her. They went to KFC, but he wouldn't even treat her to the bucket. <laughs> he wouldn't it. even treat her to the bucket? The KFC. <laughs> <laughs> Is that? She split the bucket. He split the bucket? <laughs> <laughs> he didn't see a movie and then he split the bucket. Well, that he sounds like... That's the rudest thing I've ever said. <laughs> oh, okay, well, here's, a, here's a fun fact. In, in 2008, a two-day power cut in Holland led to a 44% increase in the birth rate. Now, that's because you like to keep warm, you see. You go to bed and keep warm. That's because mm -hmm. she can't get away. It's dark, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what have the nation been talking about over the last week? Faster trains. Faster trains. Yeah. Between Manchester, Leeds and London. Too Manchester, fast, isn't it? Too, too, too fast. fast. You'll have to change train impressions for kids. Like, it can't go... <laughs> it won't do that, will it? It'll just go... <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't that long ago that they, they binned Concord, which was really quick getting to the States because it cost too much money. But now they've decided to spend 30 billion yeah. just to go to Manchester. Are you saying we should get Concords to Manchester? We get <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 30 I mean, billion, I mean, uh, yeah. Well, for that kind of money, I mean, there's, there's other things we could spend that money on, aren't there? I mean, it's a, it's a huge amount. Yeah, we could have a free bar on the train <laughs> we did. for 20 years. 